Hey guys, it's Ivan from One The Past here, and today I'm going to be doing a 100 subscriber special. So, it's going to be a Pacifica deck profile, but just wait. Uh, at the end, I'm going to be doing a giveaway video. So yeah, thanks for uh, subscribing, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to post more content in the future. But yeah, starting out with the deck profile. So, starter is going to be Bermuda Triangle Cadet Shizuku, so she's a great free searcher. Uh, it's good in this deck because I run a lot of great free techs, so you need to be able to search for the combo pieces and be able to get them off. Also gives you plus one soul, which is useful for unflipping. So, starter is pretty standard. Next up, I run three copies of Planet Idol Pacifica. So, Pacifica, this one is the break ride. So, standard limit break four, when a BT rides, it gets plus 10k. And then uh, it gives your Vanguard a skill. Uh, when another BT is returned to your hand from your guard, then you can search for another Bermuda and call it. So this uh, ability it actually triggers uh, whenever you trigger the bouncing. So if you don't activate the effect, then you can't get the ability. That's just a rolling thing. But And then the second thing that makes this really good, uh, when it's in Soul, uh, you can kind of last one put Top Idol Pacifica from your rear guard into Soul, and then you can choose a uh, rear guard, bounce it. So it's pretty good. Um, you can bounce something that lets you unflip damage. But the main thing is that this lets you get cross ride into soul. So uh, it's, a, it's a very powerful break ride. The break ride turn is actually pretty scary because it's also pretty good because you technically net plus one, but you get a lot more attack slots. So. Yep. Uh, also a very fun combo you can do with her and eternal idol is you can basically add any card you want into your hand, but uh, maybe I'll show that later. Uh, next up, I run free of my uh, Eternal Idol Pacifica. So, Eternal Idol is the cross ride unit for uh, normal Pacifica. So, her ability is Limit Break 4, Counter Blast 3, Bounce 2, Bermuda, Rearguards when she attacks, and then you can Superior Call 1 card from your deck. So, uh, this ability is quite overcosted, but it's pretty good because in this deck, you can unflip damage like crazy, so it doesn't matter. Uh, she also has 2k plus 2k uh, base if uh, top idol pacifica is in the soul. So if you do that, then um, it's really good because in stride meta, the strides usually hit for 26k unboosted. So it's actually not the easiest to hit good numbers. And I think cross ride is very viable in this meta right now. I just, no one's really tried to experiment with it. Brawlers are pretty good too, but um, that's completely unrelated. But yeah. Uh, I'll show more of her stuff later, but she's your main unit. You really usually want to go into Planet Idol first and then break quiet Eternal Idol, but sometimes stuff happens and yeah. And finally, I run two copies of Top Idol Pacifica. So I only run two copies, uh, even though this is a cross ride deck, because uh, Top Idol's skill is kind of not that great. Uh, <laughs> she's a 10k base. Um, yeah, I just run the Jap version because I really don't like the Fire Collection English version. It looks ugly. And I only have one English SP from the original set. So uh, she gets plus 3k if you have four more rearguards, which is pretty standard for the old Bermuda Aces. Uh, Soul Charge Y at the beginning of main phase, draw a card, and then put a card from your hand to the bottom. So it cycles a unit. Sort of helps you not deck out. But I have won some games where I broke ride Top Idol Pacifica into, turn into Planet Idol. It was, yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. But... Yeah, her Mega Blast, it never happens, so I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Next up, I run 4 12k attackers for Pacifica. This card honestly makes Eternal Idol so much better than she was when she was first released. Uh, usually you want to go into her with uh, Eternal Idol or Planet Idol skill. Then I run 3 Rikas. So Rika is a card when you return her to hand, which you usually will, to like... Uh, she you can unflip the damage and soul charge on cards. So soul charging is good. Uh, yeah, you need the soul to unflip damage, so it's pretty decent. Then I run my one tech copy of uh, Girls Rock Reels. You might be wondering how the heck do you have enough counter blast to run this, and why are you only playing one copy? I just play one copy because uh, on the off chance that you get it and you have enough damage unflip potential, you can draw a few cards to help you uh, maintain hand presence. And honestly, uh, the AK base is really irrelevant because you're going to use her for intercept or just ditch her anyways later on. But SP Rios, yes. It took me forever to get this card. It's, yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, this is like my favorite deck in the game. So yeah. And then I run four copies of Pearl Sister Perla. So Perla is um, 
It's mainly a combo card with uh, my next grade one, which is going to be a uh, processor parlay. But uh, pretty much the idea is to, well, there we go. Uh, no, nope, other way. Yep. Basically, the idea is when she attacks, you can uh, soul blast one, and then bounce a card. This one, when you place on a rare guard, you give Perla the ability that when her attack hits, you can soul charge one and then draw a card. So. It's pretty funny because uh, this ability works on both Vanguard and Rearguard. So what you can do at grade two is you can ride into Perla and then you can like double up on Perla's. I once did this and some guy let it hit. So yeah, that, that kind of sucked for him. I still think I lost that game, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's just four copies because you need more copies of her. This, if you run too many copies, it gets cloggy. So nope. And yes, I do run four 12Ks because, I mean four grade twos because you need this room. Then I run two copies of Prism Duel Yamuk. Uh, Yamuk is a pretty good card. Uh, it's really situational, so I don't want to run like three or four. But and the six K base kind of sucks because uh, what she does is when you bounce a card, you can uh, gain plus three K on this. So you can it's kind of like a Bruno, but uh, it stacks plus three Ks and it's a six K base. So you, usually the maximum you can bounce a turn is around nine cards. So. I'm not including Perla, but people never let Perla hit anyways, so yeah, uh, plus 9k, so you can turn this into what, a 15k booster, and then plus 11k in the front row, then you can swing for 26, it's pretty cool. Then I run 3 copies of uh, Kura, so Kura is your uh, Soul Blast 2 damage on flip 2, so it's your Lemonade clone. Uh, this is why I use cards that help build up the soul, like uh, Rios, I also play the other draw triggers, I'll talk about that later. but. Um, you can pretty much continuously bounce her or call her from the deck, and you can just keep unflipping damage and gaining like a lot of advantage with uh, Pacifica skill. So nice. Then I run my one clear tech. Yeah, you know you can run one offs in this deck because uh, Planet Idol and uh, they can search this stuff. So she's also a decent ride target. Uh, you don't use her much, but basically what she does is when she's returned to hand, you can soul blast one and then give another Bermuda plus four K. Helps you make numbers in this deck. Uh, yeah, you can hit pretty decent numbers. Like with a 12k attacker, you can turn her into a 16. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, you usually need to just be careful of your soul, how much soul you have. But then finally, I run four perfect guards. Screw Quintet Walls. Uh, doesn't work in this deck. You freaking deck out. Honestly, like the main reason why I die in this deck is because I deck out. So four perfect guards. And I decided not to run Ellie's because, you know, White Art Arya. Arya is his best PG, best grill. And, they, and then I run. Four, seven, nine critical triggers. Um, don't run, don't run more than uh, four draws, please. I mean, don't run like, don't run four draws. Uh, you deck on this deck. <laughs> Simple enough. Uh, and crits have great pressure, so you get enough hand size in the deck, honestly. So you don't need any more. And then run three draws triggers. Funny, it's a smart gold clone, so you soul charge her, and then from rear guard, you give something plus three k helps you build numbers again. But mainly, it's to give you soul. And finally, I run four heal triggers. So I have pretty much one of each heal trigger ever released, which is awesome. But yeah, um, the 4k base is irrelevant, so just ignore that. Uh, heals, I don't need to say anything. I think you guys know why I put heals in this deck, unless I want to go YOLO, uh, 420 plays it, go into... Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to put any more crits. So yeah, uh, for... Grade fours, uh, I don't really have a choice because it's going to be clan fight, but I run two Atmoses. Atmos is a counter boss one when attacks gets plus 10k. I'm not going to run Blizzard in this deck because you don't want to stride too many times, otherwise you deck out. I think I have a match where I do deck out, but yeah. Uh, I run two Harmonix Messiahs because I like Messiahs are better than Magnum, but I only have one Magnum anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And then I run four copies of Goblade if this is a uh, not clan fight, if it's extreme fight. Otherwise, I'll just shove another couple of harmonics besides in there just for G assist purposes. So yeah, that's about it for the deck profile portion. So this is what I'm going to be doing for the giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away some of my units from my well. Yeah, my two favorite clans, basically. So, Bermudas and Genesis. So, I don't have any Regalias, unfortunately, to give away because I, I don't have any more. But 
I do I did randomly pull like a copy of Mirror, so I'm just gonna be giving that away. Mirror is like best break right unit in the game, honestly. Like it's so broken. You can just do eight attacks in Bermudas. It's like what the heck? Why are Bermuda made so OP? And you can also draw like a billion cards with her. And then I'm giving away also one copy of each of the Witch Legions, so Mint and Fennel. I don't have the Legion mates on me, but I will include those as well. The Witches will go as a pair and then Mirror as well. So pretty much all you gotta do to be entered into the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber. And then um, you also gotta comment in this comment section below uh, pretty much uh, what your favorite uh, clan is. So. That's all you need to do, really, and uh, pretty much uh, how it's going to work is I'm just going to use RNG generator, and then I'm going to roll twice, so once for this, and then once for that. Uh, there's not really any first place, second place, they're around the same value, honestly, but it's just a small giveaway, just to say thanks for thanks for this, all the support. And yeah, uh, pretty much the this is going to go on until I hit 150, and then once I hit 150 subscribers, I'm going to do another video just announcing who won and stuff just to make sure you guys <laughs> i'm just not scamming you guys for like subscribers but yeah yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next video bye